another example for a simulation of a project duration. We can look at this as a project or process. So all activities are uniformly distributed. This is the network of activities. These numbers are the lower and upper values in the uniform probability distribution. I'm going to create a S-shaped curve like this, which says, for example, probability of completing the project in less than 12 days is about 60%. But there are also some probabilities that this project takes between uh, 14 and 16 days. We can also look at this as a process where part red goes through this direction, part blue goes through this direction, part green comes here through this direction, or there is assembled with part red, and then this direction. How to find the number of passes in a project or the number of parts in a process? It is easy. We find the divergence points. The first divergence point has two lanes as associated with it. So there will be two passes. Any other divergence point adds the number of links going out of it minus one added to the previous passes. For example, here I have two, one divergence point with two links, so it will add two minus one passes to it. No other divergence point. Therefore, the number of passes here are three. How many passes do I have in this project? One, two. A divergence point, two arcs going out of it. One of them is dropped, two plus one, three. Another divergence point, three plus one, four. Another divergence point with just two arcs going out of it, four plus one, five. If I had three arcs going out of this activity, then I had two plus one plus one. And if I had three arcs associated with this activity, three minus one is two, two, one, one, and two, six passes. Let's go back to the original project. I have six activities, three passes. I want to create a graph like this to tell me about the probability distribution of the duration of the project, average coefficient of variations. And also I wanna create these graphs. The first one tells me what is the probability of each pass to be the critical pass. And as we see, pass ADF has the highest probability to be the critical pass or the critical chain. And this graph tells me the same thing about each activity. Activity A with probability of more than 90% is on critical pass. Activity B and activity E have very low probability to be on the critical pass. Let me delete this graph, and this graph, and this graph. Let me delete these things. I have hidden some rows from row 36 to 985. Let me delete these lines. Let me clear 
the formatting. Okay. These are my activities. These are their lower bound and upper bound. Activity A, two and six. Activity F, two and four. I have typed these numbers over there in row two and row three. Now I go here and I should create a random instance of activity A, which is uniformly distributed between two and six. So I type equal to two plus six minus two multiplied by rand, enter. This is an instance of activity A. It is randomly, uniformly distributed between two and six. If I copy it down, I see a mistake. I double click on it, I see okay, because I didn't lock. Row two became row three when I copy it down. Therefore, I should go back and make this References absolute. Enter. Copy it down. I will be fine. It is still referring to two and six. If I copy it down, it is still referring to two and six. However, if I copy this to the right, and if I double click on it, it's still referring to column A because I locked column A. In order to fix this, I go back here, unlock column A, backspace, 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 enter. If I copy it down, I am fine. It is still referring to activity A and row two and row three. If I copy it right, still I am fine because it is referring to column F, row two and three. And if I copy these things down, still I am fine. So that's how I copy them. Then I should go down to row 1004 from Five to 1004, that is 1000 numbers. Okay. Then I come here, I see I do have three passes, AC, ADF, and BEF. Go out to duration of A plus duration of C. ADF is equal to Duration of A plus duration of D plus duration of F. BEF is equal to duration of B plus duration of E plus duration of F. So I have created three instances of duration of these projects and I can copy it down. These are all instances. The duration of the project is equal to the duration of the longest path. Therefore, I come here and I say equal to max and copy down. Okay, so I am done here. But just to make it a little bit nicer, I go here, I say conditional formatting, highlight, equal to if this one is equal to duration of the project paint it but don't forget now I'm going to copy this formatting to the right because I'm going to copy to the right therefore J should remain absolute but because I'm also going to copy down five shouldn't stay absolute And then I go and format this row. Therefore, now the critical pass is painted. And then I fully copy it down. Therefore, now the critical path in each row is painted. 
The next thing I want to do is to create a S-shaped curve, which shows me the duration of the project from the lowest duration to the highest duration. Because these numbers are random numbers, look, they are continually changing. Therefore, I cannot simply use the sort utility in Excel to sort them, and I need to write a function. Let me show you a function, rows, equal rows, go to column J, column again. 2J5 appear, and I lock the first J5. If I enter, it tells me how many rows are there from absolute row J5 to relative row J5. And of course, that is 1. But when I copy it down, because the second one is relative, it will not remain J5. It will become J6. Therefore, from absolute J5 to relative J6, there are two numbers, 3, 4, 5. And if I copy it down, the last one will be 1,000. So I created a number between 1 and 1,000. Then I go here and I first cut this one and I type equal to small find the small here over the durations of the project and I lock it because I'm going to copy it down look at thousand durations and find the smallest one small and one and instead of entering one I paste what I cut before so it says small over that um, durations, and the first small. And copy it down. So the project durations are sorted from the smallest value to the largest value. Then I want to say probability. Again, I type rows. And again, I click on this column, click and lock the first one, and enter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now I go here, divided by count. How many project observations did you have? And lock it and close the parentheses. This is to take 1,000 to 1 and to take 1 to something very close to 0. Therefore, number of observations now is transformed into the percentage of observations. So that is 1 in 1,000, 2 in 1,000, 3 in 1,000, and finally here we have Therefore, with 100% probability, at least based on these observations, we finished the project in less than 16 days, and, and there is 25% probability that we can finish project in less than 8.4 days. Now, I want to create a graph to show the probability distribution of the duration of the project. So I come here, I select all components of these two columns, insert scatter chart, and I select this one. So the graph appears, but because I have hidden some of these rows, from row 35 to row 985, the rows between them are hidden. Therefore, the graph does not show those hidden rows. I'll go here, select 
data, hidden and empty cells, show hidden cells. Now I can see this, okay? And I will go here because the duration was not less than six and is not more than 16. So I'll go and say format access and I make it from six to 16. Creates a better shape curve. And because I know probabilities do not go beyond 100%, so I make this 1.2, one. This is the graph. These are the durations and these are probabilities. Let's put a nice thing here. Let's say equal to average. Average of project durations and like it because I'm going to copy to the right. So that is my average duration. I copy to the right. I make it standard deviation. Standard deviation of sample. So that is a standard deviation. I will copy to the right mean. And also copy to the right max. And also, let me bring these things one. Standard deviation divided by mean, which is coefficient of variations. So average was here, STD dev was here, mean max CV. CV equal space max space equal space, mean space equal space, average space equal space, equal to this one and this one. And therefore I see average is equal to this number. And because I don't want that many numbers over there, when I compute the average, I also round it to one. I do the same for mean round and for max. For coefficient of variations, I round it to two. Okay, I have those things over there. Average equal to 11.4. And space and mean equal to and what the mean is and space and max equal to and what the max is and space and coefficient of variation equal to and what the coefficient of variation is. So I have this statement. Average equal to this, mean is equal to this, max is equal to this, coefficient of variation is equal to this. Then I will go to my chart title, and then I go to the bar, and I say equal to, and in equal to, I click on this cell, enter. Now, all the critical information regarding my project also appear in the title of the graph of my project. I may also go here 
say add chart elements and then primary horizontal i may click on this go over there and type duration okay enter duration is there also when i have selected the chart i will go and say vertical and i type when it is selected over there i type probability so i have a graph which shows the relationship between probability and duration of the project there is about 10 percent probability that this project takes more than 13 days and there are 20 percent probability that we can complete this project in less than 10 days average duration is something more than 11 days and as we see over there it is 11.3 coefficient of variations is 0. 0.40 okay we are done with the graph now i want to create two more charts i want to know what is the probability of ac to be the critical pass what is the probability of adf to be critical pass and what is the probability of bef to be the critical pass or the critical chain so I'll go here, I type equal to if this one, the duration of AC is equal to duration of the project and I lock this one because it should be in uh, column J but since I'm going to copy it down, I unlock the five part of it then one otherwise and then i copy it to the right so if this third one is equal to the duration of the project copy it down so i have these numbers then i go up over here i say equal to count or indeed i just equal sum summation of these numbers enter and then copy it to the right just to make sure that my computation is correct this summation should come out equal to my overall count which is 1000 so these are my numbers then I divide them by count count but because some of those cells are empty i divide them by count a and then i click on project go down f4 enter and that is percentage the same for this one and this one and if i have not made a mistake this summation is one so i can simply go there and insert a simple chart just two-dimensional space here and for chart title i will go over there i say equal to and i click on this cell which i have already typed Pathos percentage critical enter that's over there percentages are here the only other thing I need to do is to change one two three to AC ADF and BEF so what I will do select data edit the horizontal values go over there enter these numbers and okay and okay now I have this the next thing I'm going to do is to do the same thing for activities. Equal to summation 
of these two because A is in those two equal to this one because B is only there. Equal to C is only here. Equal to D is only there. Equal to E is only here. And then here F is equal to summation of these two because F is only in those two uh, paths. And then I can copy this down. Since some of these cells are blank and some of them are zero, in order to remove zeros and make them all blank, come here and I say if this summation is greater than zero, then put the summation. Copy the summation and put it here. Otherwise, don't put zero, just put empty. I said, these three, four columns they don't need because they all are either empty or one. And here I do the same thing. I copy this sum and then I say if this sum is greater than zero, put the sum. Otherwise, put empty. And then I copy this down. Therefore, now we either have blank or we do have one. Then I come here and I simply copy one of these and paste it here and see what will happen. This adds ones over there and then divide it by count count A and then I can copy this over there. These are the addition. unlike this summation which should come out equal to 100%, this summation does not need to come out equal to 100%. It is not coming out equal to 100%. While because critical pass is only one of these three. But several of these activities can be on a critical path. Following the same logic, I can go select these numbers, insert a chart, a simple chart, it is here. All I need to do is to select the data, right click, select data, edit the horizontal components and insert these letters over there. For chart title, I will go here, I type equal to, and I have already typed something in this cell. Click on it, enter activities, percentage, critical. Now, we have our project. We have its S-shaped curve. And this is some of our data related to this project.